My favourite Christmas song without fail is um, The Pogues, Fairy Tale of New York. I know this is obviously a very popular song, but for me, when that starts playing, you just know that Christmas is here. Um, and it just gets me in the mood, like gets everyone up dancing, it brings everyone together, and it's just such a beautiful song. Um, so yeah, I definitely have to say that. It would just have to be Stacey and Max 2007, because for me, like I was maybe eight when that came out. So like, I don't remember, I know there was some great ones before that, but I don't remember them. This is like the first one that I really remember. And this is when I first started really watching the show and like getting gripped with it. And it was just such an iconic moment. And I was like obsessed with Lacey Turner when I was younger, still am. I just thought she was the coolest person ever. So any storyline that she was in, I was like totally gripped with, so I'll go with that one. So for our Christmas dinner, um, my family are actually all vegetarian, so we eat nut roast. Um, so yeah, no turkey for us, but um, I, I'm a meat eater, so I'm always quite jealous when I go on Instagram and I see everyone's like beef and turkey and then I've got a nut roast, but it is lovely. I'm not saying I don't like it, mum. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if this is unusual because I'm not sure if any other families do this, but every Boxing Day we get a curry in, like without fail. Um, I think it's quite unusual because we've already eaten our body weight for about a week and then we manage to eat a curry and I always go back for seconds, but um, <laughs> I've been doing that like my whole life and I don't think we'll ever stop. That's definitely a tradition for us, yeah. <laughs> Uh, so if I could have two EastEnders characters round for Christmas dinner, I would have to have Sharon because she's like the Queen of Walford and imagine having her at your roast dinner, like that, <laughs> that would be iconic. Um, and then the second one, hmm, I'm going to go with Bobby just because he's so nice that he'd probably do all the dishes while you just sat and watched the telly. Um, so yeah, I think, yeah, they're the two. <laughs> Okay, <laughs> well this made me laugh. I don't know if it will make you laugh, but it was funny, maybe you had to be there. Um, but like two years ago, we were all opening our presents and like it was all good and you know, we were all happy. And then a few days later, in my dog's basket, I found like this little box and I opened it and it was like this beautiful like bracelet that was from my mum to my sister. And then I was like to my sister, did you not see this present? And she was like, oh, like I wonder why I only got some shower gel. And it just made me laugh because all day like me and my little sister were opening these lovely gifts and she just got like nothing and she didn't say anything. So it just made me laugh uh, thinking that she didn't get anything from my mum. So yeah, yeah, that one. <laughs> I feel really bad saying this because if you're watching, Dad. Um, but I think the worst present I've ever received was last year. Um, I think my dad, where he's a man and he has daughters, he doesn't. He sometimes struggles with, you know, fillers. Um, he wrapped up two white flannels in like a bow and <laughs> wrapping paper, and I opened it and it was just a white flannel. Um, so I can't say that was my favourite gift ever. But thank you anyway, Dad, if you're watching. Um, and best present. Um, is definitely this ring which I'm wearing on my finger now. Um, so my sister went to India like just before last Christmas and she got me this from this beautiful spiritual temple and it's my birthstone ring. Um, and it's really special to me because me and my sister are really close and it just reminds me of her, so. Christmas means to me, um, for me it's just, it's so nice seeing people that you don't always get to see because I always do like little Christmas meetups with those people that I don't get to see for the rest of the year sometimes. So I just, I get to see everyone that I love. Um, and for me, it's about, you know, no matter what challenges you face that year, like coming together um, and celebrating the year you've had with the people you love, really. So I know it's been a really challenging year for everyone. So I hope that everyone has a brilliant Christmas and that all your wishes come true. And I hope you have a great new year as well.